I have 392,000 photos in my Lightroom catalog, but it's no problem finding po pictures because of course, every time I import new photos, I go through every single picture and mark them as Katie's birthday or horse or, or no, I don't. I am terrible at keywording photos. And if you are also bad at keywording photos, then this is going to be a lifesaver the next time you actually need to get some use out of your Lightroom catalog. Head to sdp.io slash Xire and use the coupon code Tony Xire Search Pro 10 and you'll get 10% off. Here's how Xire works. After you install it, first you go into library, plug in extras, and then you initialize photos. This took two days for me because I have a big catalog. It probably will not take you that long. After that, you can use these other commands to actually search. The most useful one by far is search by keyword. And now you can see I'll browse through the many different categories that they have for searching for things. Image content or image property. I don't find image property to be that useful, but you know, you could search for sepia toned or dark photos or, or monochromatic pictures. I think the image content is really where the gold is here. For example, let's say you want to look for pictures of, oh, not just a wedding, but a bride. I'll hit start here. These are not all brides, but she's a bride. She's a bride. This is just a model in a white dress, but I can definitely see why the algorithm thought she was a bride. And uh, this is an ice skater and he's definitely not a bride. It wasn't a hundred percent, but it did find a lot of pictures of brides. And that really help, helps me narrow it down like that is terribly useful to me and it's actually pretty cool. And there's more than 500 different categories that you can search for here. Let's see what happens if I specifically search for pictures of chickens. Okay, once again, it didn't get 100%, but it did successfully find pictures of chickens and that's going to be enough of a head start for me to find the pictures that I'm looking for. I'd rather it err on the side of capturing too many photos than not getting enough photos. You can also search by faces to search for particular properties of people. It doesn't let you put in a name, but you can search for one face, a tight headshot, two faces, multiple faces, in case you remember a photo and you know, oh, okay, it's a boy and a girl. You can narrow it down to male or female here. So let's first just search for pictures of babies. Okay, who's that cute kid? And sure enough, here we are. We have a bunch of pictures of babies. Look at this cute little guy. Oh my goodness, he's a playful baby. Okay, it's so much fun. I must have spent an hour just going through looking for different things. Let's see if I can use this to find my light painting pictures. Okay, it definitely dug up some old light painting pictures that I'd completely forgotten about. So that's pretty amazing. There are more than 500 different categories that you can use to find your pictures and it is not 100% but it's a good head start. It is better than nothing. It will, it'll just miss some pictures that it should find and it'll turn up a bunch of false positives too, but there's nothing else like it at this time. How is it doing this? Is it sending all your pictures off to the internet where somebody could steal them? No, it all happens locally. So you do not even need internet access. I think that's the most amazing part. The whole app has all the object recognition intelligence built right into it. I kind of hope that Adobe will just buy the company and integrate this into Lightroom, but they haven't. So in the meantime, if you want to check it out, head over to stp.io slash Xire, and you can use the coupon code Tony Xire search pro 10 to get 10% off. And if you want to check out my Lightroom books, so you can actually learn to use Lightroom, head to stp.io slash store and the coupon code winner will get you 20% off. Let me know in the comments down below if you check it out and what your thoughts on it are, because I'd like to get a wider range of experiences and subscribe for more free videos. Thanks. Bye.